So this is a quick tutorial on, uh, on how to do the OM606 cooling mode. So the reason why we do this is because uh, the engine itself suffers from uh, having a hot cylinder, uh, the number 6 cylinder, from the back side. So uh, we do this little mod that uh, gets coolant to the engine's uh, engine block. Let's see on, on, on the engine. Uh, so this is the basic idea. You have your thermostat, uh, your water pump housing. You drill a hole here and you connect it with, with, uh, with a hose here. Uh, and then that gets uh, fresh water to the last cylinder which suffers from heat issues. So uh, to start you need to drill a hole right here. Uh, it goes through the uh, water pump housing. Uh, you take your drill bit and it's a 14.5 millimeter drill bit. Drill a hole and then tap it with a 16 millimeter by 1.5. Um, I did this uh, incorrectly at first, and uh, I had I, I couldn't cut the thread because I I, was, I drilled the hole and it was too big because I, my drill bit wobbled. So be very careful when uh, drilling this. But I fixed this by drilling not a 16 millimeter hole but a 3 3 eighths. Uh, and then this is a 3 8 a 3 8 uh, uh, bolt so ideally you should want you should want to have a, a 16 millimeter hole but if not then a 3 8 will also suffice then next uh, yeah you have the other 3 8 uh, I chose a banjo bolt but you could also run a straight uh, fitting like that but I chose a banjo bolt which is because it's just easier and it's a 3 8 banjo bolt and this is a just this is just a regular hose that i got from a hydraulic shop the length of the hose uh, between here and here is 55 centimeters and then this is a 12 12 a size uh, 1.5 and on the block you have you have uh, to take out this plug, uh, it usually strips threads because it's al aluminum, but it's easy enough to correct. You just uh, uh, have a M18 1, 1 1.5 uh, tap and you just clear the threads and then have a plug, like it's an adapter right here. So 18.5 and it adapts to, well, basically whatever you want, but in my case it's 12 M12 uh, 1.5. So once all you have all these components done, you just basically install your uh, water pump housing and connect the two pipes. Also one thing, uh, be very careful when tightening this as it's aluminum and there's not a lot of meat on the walls so be very careful, don't over tighten it. Okay so after assembling it, uh, looks like this uh, could also be a banjo bolt right, 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 like that uh, and then it wouldn't stick out so much because now it could interfere with the, uh, with the exhaust. exhaust yes. Uh, but let's see. <laughs> oh, 
all right. So small update on the cooling mod. Um, I tried fitting in on the block uh, and this approach isn't really good because uh, here where it connects to the block, uh, this sticks out way too much and it will interfere with your exhaust. So uh, there's two options. You can have a hose that has uh, banjo fittings on both ends like uh, and then it, it will be flat to the block or uh, I didn't want to remake this hose so uh, they just gave me this adapter which screws in and uh, well basically creates a banjo fitting it could be a banjo fitting like this one uh, straight up now I have an adapter but that's fine so uh, this should not interfere with the exhaust whatsoever and uh, I'll install it and then get back to you. Okay, so this is how it looks on the engine. So uh, here's the hose going to the block and goes under the cross member and into the water pump housing. So as you can see here, it clears everything. Uh, the alternator will be cleared and the turbine and the exhaust as well. And when you come here, uh, it's pretty free. So it won't rub against anything. Uh, only problem here is that it's pretty close to the block. The fitting and this bend is hitting here a bit, but that could be tied down with the mount somehow. And uh, yeah, uh, previously this end was sticking out way out and it would interfere with the exhaust and with the banjo. I, uh, way it, this this doesn't happen so it's running straight down and this should be fine so that's how I did it